All right, everyone out in YouTube land, thanks for watching. Welcome back. <clears throat> um, gonna go over some uh, comics I picked up here over the last week or so, and uh, if you watched my last one, you'll know that I talked about how I'm gonna quit pretty much buying all um, modern comics, except for a couple. I called my uh, uh, local guy and and uh, told him I said cancel all my polls except for uh, Manifest Destiny. I really enjoy that one, so. If I do get a new one, it's probably going to be because there's a first appearance or an origin or something like that. So, um, without further ado, let's go ahead and start this one um, here. Funny story. Um, I went to my normal uh, comic book guy and um, he didn't have it. And so I asked him if he could uh, call around to some of the people he trades with and if he could find it. And he said, sure. And uh, that Saturday, I went over there to help him because uh, they had moved this summer. So I went over and helped him do some stuff. And <clears throat> um, I uh, went with him to another comic shop in town because he had to pick up some stuff. And I'd heard of this comic shop, but I'd never been because I figured it was a long ways away and it really wasn't um, worth anything to, to go and travel. Um, so I hop in the car with him. We drive over there. And wow, this place is huge, big just insane I loved it and so on Sunday when almost all the other comic shops in town are closed this place is still open so I was like hey what the heck I'll go ahead and watch uh, go ahead and go over there and I went over there and uh, most of what I everything that I have here I got from that story either on Sunday or today so and today is uh, Wednesday um, so everything I got is from that store um, and what's funny, and I, I love this cover. I, I've seen Mercer not talk about it and some others, and I've always wanted this. Well, if you look back a couple videos I had, and I was, I don't know, for some reason, I was just looking at one of my videos. I got this book like five months ago for a dollar. Now, obviously, it's not in as good a shape as you see in the video. You know, I, you know, there's some pops and stuff like that. But I already have this book, so it's no big deal. I mean, this is in a, a better shape, as you can see. Um, you know, I paid $6, but I still love it. It's great. Um, I actually read this one. I really enjoyed it. Um, so uh, it's I really enjoyed this one. So that's kind of a, a funny thing. I couldn't believe it. I told my wife, and she said, See, you've got too many comics. You don't even know what you have. Well, that's not the truth, because we're living in an apartment right now. Uh, all my comics are kept at my parents' house. So I don't have anything to go back and reference. Um, now this next comic I'm going to show, when I went today, I didn't realize it um, until I actually... So I, I go ahead and grab all the comics I bought today and I go up to there and I'm like, alright, it's going to be about you know, about $40 or so. And he rings everything up and says, $21. And I'm like, huh? And he points to the thing and all back issues are 50% off. I was like, whoa, wait, oh, okay. I said, um... Well, then let me wait. Let me go ahead and get some more. And he said, well, let's take care of this. And so I took care of it, took it out to the car. And then I went back in and spent another $20. Because I was like, oh, my God, back issues are 50% off. Um, so here's a, another one I got. Um, this is Flash 255. And um, don't worry, the sticker, I got it for uh, $2.50. Um, now, this is one of the newer ones I got. Um, I'd seen some people in some of the things I'm, um, on and stuff like that talked about it. Um, well, it's a pretty neat cover, but also, um, there's a, a couple, supposed to be a couple new people and stuff, and I haven't, I haven't looked at it or anything like that, but, um, that's supposedly what's supposed to be in it, so. And then this next one, I believe, was, uh, Vin Crew is the uh, guy I watched, I think it was today, I think. Um, talked about uh, Batman Annual Number Two, or it might have been. Yeah, it, it, I'm pretty sure it was a uh, Vin Crew. If not, I do apologize. Um, this is Annual Number Two out of the New Fifty Two, and um, it's the first appearance of Marine and uh, the Anchors. So, and then here is issue number two of Deathstrokes, the New Fifty Two. Um, and this is the first appearance of Odysseus. Now here's an Avengers A1 issue one. Um, this one I got for half off. 
and uh, this has the first appearance of um, Monica Chang. And I believe, again, um, Vin Crew had been talking about this one. Now, this one I got only for a dollar. Um, it's in decent shape, and you got a little staining, stuff like that. But I mean, you know, for awesome cover and everything like that, I mean, it's a dollar. Um, this is Monsters on the Prowl, number 16. And this, from the information I was able to find, and I think this is like, well, how I got the information was um, there was this copy and then like a $10 copy or whatever. And don't forget, I didn't know about the half off price. I probably would have picked up the $10 if I would have known that from the get go, if I would have paid attention when I walked in the door. Um, but this is supposedly the fourth appearance of um, Cole. So whether that's true or not, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> and it's also supposed to be the first appearance of Thula Doom. So, but uh, a lot of guys die in this. Um, one dies by Cole, one dies by the sea monster, and then one dies by Thula Doom. And I don't know any of who those yahoos are that die. Uh, this is Monsters on the Prowl number 24. Again, I got it only for a dollar. Um, and this is actually a reprint of Strange Tales number 84. So. And this is a Detective Comics number 503. <coughs> Excuse me. I got for $1.50. Um, and it's the first appearance of Hamilton Hill. Um, Hamilton Hill is kind of an interesting character. Um, he actually um, becomes mayor of Gotham City, and and he's a, he's a crooked character, um, you know, villain. And when he becomes mayor of Gotham City, he immediately removes um, uh, Commissioner Gordon, kicks him out of the, the, the force and stuff, doesn't have him be commissioner anymore. Um, and then also he is, um, he arranges to have Harley, uh, Harvey Bullock killed, um, but it doesn't happen, um, and when all this stuff comes to light and all this crookedness and stuff, obviously Harvey Hill gets, uh, or sorry, Hamilton Hill gets removed from office and stuff, but it's kind of curious, you know, with the, um, you know, Gotham and stuff, I wonder if, you know, with the mayor and, you know, and, and um, Harvey and all that stuff, um, with Bullock and stuff, if they'll kind of do something like that, so I kind of thought it was interesting. So... Now this next one, um, even though there's, it's not as great shape as I want, and it's pretty beat up and everything, but I mean, it, it's, it's a classic. I mean, you know, um, I've seen tons of guys post it, um, but, um, and, you know, the, the fact that I got it for half price makes it even better, so it doesn't worry, hurt me as much. Um, Action Comics number 340, the introduction, the first, uh, the first appearance and origin of Parasite. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see here, um, kind of, some kid thought it would be funny to, uh, draw glasses and a mustache on Superman and Parasite. So, um, I got this one for four dollars and, you know, it, it's, it's, I've got it. It's checked off. I don't have to worry about trying to find it anymore. No, I'll try and find something in a, a better um, better grading. But, I mean, you know, with this and stuff, I mean, you know, the, the, the just a little bit of spine. You know, I mean, other, you know, you've got a couple here and here. Um, I'd probably give this a, I don't know, maybe a four, four and a half. What do you guys think? Set these off to the side here. And then I got Action Comics number 341. Um, got this one for $2.50. Um, this is actually uh, Dr. Wait, no. Where knows it? This, um, I, I can't remember which one. Um, Dr. Zavik or Zavarik or I can't think of his name. Um, he broke loose and he comes and he, um, acts like Superman and stuff to t make Kent think that during a, um, atomic explosion and stuff that it, he was ripped in two and now he's got two people. So, um, again, you know, for $2.50, I was like, why the hell not? 
Um, and then here is Superman 206. I got that for five dollars. <clears throat> um, nothing uh, too exciting about this, you know. Just pretty neat cover. In fact, you know, I got it relatively inexpensive. I got Black Panther number four for two dollars. Okay, let me try and get these in order. Okay. Um, here's Eternals number two that I got for five, or for, actually for um, two dollars and fifty cents. Um, it's got the first um, full appearance of the Celestials. Um, no, uh, the Celestials are kind of like the, the the opposites of the Watchers. Um, no one knows where these guys came from or anything, but they actually interfere with um, the evolution of, of humans and, and stuff like this. They give you so long to kind of get your act together, and if you don't, they come out, they come by, and pretty much wipe everyone off the earth, off the planet, or whatever. Um, but there, there's, um, there's, they're pretty badass. I mean, you know, they're supposed to be over two thousand square feet tall, or square feet, over two thousand feet tall, and um, just badasses um but you know like i said they're kind of the opposite of the watchers and everything and so um and then here is number three um this has the first appearance of cersei who is another um eternal this is um icarus <coughs> sorry um the first eternal that you meet in the the first uh issue and stuff like that but this now has the the second one um, and then this is issue number four and uh, this one has um, Gamion the Gatherer he is a celestial and um, basically comes and gathers things from planets and they take them back home and do their weird experiments and anal probes and all that other good stuff so and then here is the Eternals 15. This is the first appearance of Hulk. This is the first appearance of Robot Hulk. Um, <laughs> the, he was uh, created, he pretty much, um, you know, tries to fight Icarus and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I kind of thought that was interesting that there was a Hulk robot. I did not know that. So, trying to be a little playful there. And then here is Where Monsters Dwell, number 26. This one I did pay $7 for. Um, and this is actually a reprint of Tales of Suspense, number 6. So, um, This is Superman, number 348. If you've seen any of my videos, you know that I'm trying to complete a um, the run um, 300 series of the Superman, so I'm just adding more to the uh, to what I'm trying to complete here and this is um, issue number 373 Superman <coughs> save that one for the last year yeah, forgot about this one this is the Eternals number 9 this is if I have memory or sorry 19 if my memory serves me correct, this is the last of the um, the first series of the Eternals. Um, so, and this next one, I saw uh, Mercer not talk about it, and you know that that day that I saw his video and he talked about it, I had picked it up at my local comic book shop, and I saw it, and I was grabbing some other things, and I saw it, and I was like, I had it in my stack to buy, and I was like, nah, I put it down because I wanted to buy. Um, you know, where the monster dwells and a couple other things, you know. Um, and uh, so I set it down and then I saw him talking about it. And I was like, dang it, I had that one. Um, so I was able to get, this is Power Girl number 10. Um, and so I thought that was kind of cool. And then, um, let's see here, the <clears throat> this was at my normal comic shop I go to. And then that new one that I told you about. Um, I was going through some of their stuff and I asked if they had any power girls and the guy said, uh, yeah. And, um, 
so I was, you know, trying to think of some of the ones off my head, and he brought out, um, you know, Power Girl 20. And I was like, yeah, I'll take that one. Uh, this one I did pay $3 for. And then the Power Girl Convention, number 26. I uh, thought that was kind of a cool one. Um, and then this one, kind of an interesting story. Power Girl number 27 here. We've all seen that quite a bit lately. Um, interesting story with this one. So he's flipping through underneath the, the guy that works there and pulls it out. Um, now, anything underneath um, isn't priced or anything, so they need to price them, and then they tell you, and I'm like, okay, that's fine. <clears throat> and um, he's going through, and he takes, the, take him up, takes them up front, and the guy says, I, I'm looking through you know, some Batmans, and I can hear them, like, uh, off in the distance. He's looking them up, and he says, well, this one's selling for 40 And I was like, damn it. I said, this better not be one of those guys that, you know, I, I figured he was going to be one of those guys that um, charges, you know, whatever they're doing on eBay and that stuff. And I was like, ah, son of a biscuit. This is really just going to just ruin my day. I was so mad. I was like, you got to be kidding me. So, um, you know, I, I don't get my hopes up about anything. And I'm still looking and stuff. And he comes back and uh, brings it and says, well, you know, it's selling online, you know, for $40. But this one, you know, if you can see, you know, there's a couple... I can't really see. You know, there's a little bit of there and some dings and you know, kind of stuff like that. So, I mean, it's it's not perfect or anything. It's, I would say it's probably maybe a seven, seven and a half or whatever. <clears throat> but uh, so they, you know, ten dollars. And I was like, perfect. I was like, that's fine. You know, I was I was great. I was really, really excited and happy about that, that they weren't going to charge um normal prices, you know, the eBay prices or anything crazy like that. So, um and then the last one I have um, for this haul video is an Incredible Hulk number 165. That one I did pay the, the $4 that's on there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that This character, Aquan, um, it's his only appearance. He actually, uh, Hulk kills him in this one. Um, but he's actually a ge genetically engineered creature, monster, whatever you want to say. Um, that served with, uh, um, he, his master was Captain Omen, um, and he actually, um, was having a really good fight with the Hulk and was actually, uh, taking it to him until somehow the, the submarine for Captain Omen, um, Omen was breached and he got sucked out to, to sea and never seen again and stuff, so, um, well, that's pretty much my comic haul, guys, um, I appreciate the comments I've been getting and, and, uh, the subscriptions I really appreciate that I think probably when I get to about 50 or so um, last I checked them at 21 once I get up to 50 or so we'll have a, a, a video and give away something um, but as I said you know I'm really focusing on the, the, the older stuff trying to get those just to you know have fun and, and stuff like that um, now that I know this guy um, that's here in town he has 50% sales off back issues that just made me so happy because I hear a lot of you guys talk about that, and I'm like, man, we, I don't have any store around here. One guy, he does, most he does is like 30%, um, but I mean, you know, this guy was pretty much, you know, as long as it's not, <laughs> you know, something insane, um, it was 50% uh, all, all back issues, and so I was happy and ecstatic, and so I'll just have to um, watch, watch out for the next time he has one of those and, and really go after it. Um, so uh, keep the comments coming, uh, you know, tell everyone what you think of the videos and everything like that, and I appreciate it, and I will talk to you guys later. Have a good Thanksgiving.